Hey guys, it's Anna here again, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back in the Carbon Let's Play. So, um, last episode I asked you guys to, um, list me some cards, you know, you want me to get in this episode, so, um, I think you guys said, one of you said Jaguar K, because it's not on the console version, the Renault Clio, I saw from one of you, and then two of you said the Arc 7, and, um, I think since, well, Two, two people said the ARC-7+, plus I like that car out of the three. Um, I'm probably going to go with the ARC-7, so I guess we're going to go out with the new and in with the old, technically. So, ha ha ha, I'm so funny. Get it? Because the ARC-8 is, is more new than the ARC... Okay, I'm just going to buy the ARC-7. Alright, there we go. There, 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 there. There we go, the ARC-7 is bought, so we're going to go back in free room, and then we'll go back to the um, safe house, and we'll customize this thing. Alrighty guys, so we're back in the safe house now, and uh, we're about ready to customize this thing. So first off, we're going to do the boring things, and we're going to do the performance customization. Um, you know, maybe not the you know funnest thing to watch, but um, it really does put a huge impact on the car, so I'm going to... Uh, put all the performance upgrades on this and then I'll come back and uh, I'll show you guys what I did under the hood of this car. Alrighty guys, so we're all done with tuning the car, so in the engine upgrade I put it kind of in the middle of torque and horsepower, um, but before I get on to the other ones, uh, I just want to tell you guys, or ask you guys, um, you know, do you want me to do any uh, changes under the hood of this car because, you know, some of you might want more torque. Some of you want, might want more horsepower, so I kind of have it in the middle. I'm kind of undecided of which one to pick, so I kind of went with the middle for the engine. Uh, with the transmission, I went more for acceleration, and the transmission oil cooling system, I went for uh, top speed. So it's it's heavily acceleration bias, but not all the way. Uh, and then with the suspension, we can only go up the street package. Um, we kind of had it in the middle of understeer and oversteer. Just a happy medium. Uh, with the nitrous, we went um, for a velocity bias, and I put the 15-pound nitrous bottle toward the duration. And then um, with the tires, we did right in the middle of drift and grip. With the brakes, we did a completely just no bias at all on the brakes, just because it's kind of weird having um, brakes balanced on your car, either in the back or in the front. So I just left it regularly, just right in the middle. And with the turbo, left it in the middle as well. So, um, you know, I might want to go for a low RPM, but I'm not completely sure. But yeah, so there's all the tuning that I did with the, you know, performance of the car. So, um, yeah, now I'm going to go over to Autoscope since we unlocked that, since uh, we have Colin in our crew now. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and skip on over to Autoscope. Alrighty guys, so uh, before we go on to Autosculpt, I kind of want to do the wheels first before we go on to Autosculpt. So uh, yeah, we're going to do the aftermarket part, which is only the wheels because I want to do everything else in uh, Autosculpt. So we're going to go with the BBS GTs just because BBS wheels are my favorite. So we're going to go for, I think, 19. I think that's all right. Yeah, we're going to go for 19. So there we go. That's all we're going to do in aftermarket. So um yeah, I'm just going to purchase these uh, wheels, and then now we'll move on over to Autosculpt. Alrighty guys, so we've done the Autosculpt front bumper, so I'll, t I'll show you all of the other front bumpers and why I didn't go for them. So there's Stag, it's kind of boring, Sweeper is over the top, and Barillo is still a little boring. So we went for Shadow, just because it looks better. So these are all of the options I did. Uh, for zone one, I went with 100%, which was the grill, the size of the or the width of the grill. Zone three is to make these bigger, and so I kept them at 15%. Zone four was to I think yeah was to extend the I think it's called the splitter, and then um, this right here was to widen that gap on the side. So we're gonna keep it at 45. Zone six controls how far down I wanted the splitter to go. So kept at 40% and then I didn't do anything to zone 7 because I don't want the front bumper sticking out more uh, than it already is. So there we go. So we installed that and uh, yeah, now we'll go into the rear bumper. Alright, so the rear bumper now. Um, so we didn't go with stag of course just because, you know, I don't have stag unlocked for anything because that's locked. 
Sweeper is still over the top. Shadow looked a little boring, so I went for Barillo. And, um, yeah, these are all of the options I did with uh, Barillo. I just, I basically, you know, just made some changes to a few things. Uh, didn't really do much to the uh, back bumper. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's really all I did with the rear bumper. Alrighty, so with the skirts, um, I didn't go for Sweeper just because it didn't match up with anything else. Shadow looked a little boring, so I went for Barillo, and these are all the things I did to the uh, Barillo side skirts. So I, I did, you know, a little much um, just because there was only three zones, and I decided, you know, why not do something to everything. So it's just dropping down the skirt and um, extending it uh, outwards. So there you go, that's all I really did with the skirts. And, uh, yeah. So with the hood, we we didn't go for blown over a split side just because it really didn't look good on this car. So I went for dual stage, and that's all, all I really did was one thing just because everything else was, it just didn't look good. So, um, yeah, really, there was minimal uh, customizations done to the hood, and that's about it. So that's all we're going to do with this car as far as auto sculpt. Um, but there is one more thing though, and that is the visuals. So inside the visuals, we obviously have paint, vinyls, wheel paint, a window tint, and the ride height. So I think I'm going to keep this car uh, clean as far as vinyls for now, for the most part. So we're going to more than likely go for the window tint and the ride height, and then we'll end it off. So here we go. We're going to go with for a light black window tint because dark black just looks, it's too dark. Uh, and then here we go, here's the right height, and there we go, we dropped it as far as we could, and that looks amazing. So there we go, that's all we really um, need to do with the RX-7, so, I mean, you can tell me what you guys want as far as vinyls. I think, honestly, the vinyls that look the best are the uh, basic body vinyls. I think this is the only, these are the only vinyls that I would actually be fine with. Um, so yeah, I'm just scrolling through all the ones that, you know, you guys may want me to put on so um you know you could see the numbers at the top so if you do want to suggest uh, what basic body vinyl I w you want me to put on um, be sure to leave it in the comments other than that guys uh, if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time goodbye